my last video about the Alpha Fly, I talked a little bit about the last and how it has an effect on fit and performance. Let's look at the last a little bit more and some key terms and measurements. The important thing to understand about the last and last design is that none of these things are standard. What that means is that across different manufacturers, across different shoes, even amongst the same manufacturer, the same brand, and different shoes in different categories, they can have different characteristics and different measurements. This has an effect for the consumer from the point of view of how fit and function both come into play. For example, a size 10 Nike might fit differently than a size 10 New Balance, or even a size 10 Nike in one style of running shoe might fit different than another running shoe. The important thing when looking at the last from a design perspective is a couple key areas. So the first of those is when, again, we're talking about fit, is talking about the overall length of the shoe or stick length. Now in a last, that's this dimension. That's from heel to toe and measured across the straight ground plane. Now keep in mind, this is actually different than looking at the last measurement from a last bottom length, which measures across the surface of the last. The next measurement in relation to this ground plane is actually the toe spring. The toe spring is this measurement, and this is from the top of the toe to the ground. This has an effect in terms of the overall fit and performance of the shoe. For example, on a running shoe, uh, something like a track spike might have a lot more toe, toe spring compared to another type of shoe. The other characteristics now when you're talking about fit come into play with the overall volume of the last. So there's three things here that are really important. These are the ball girth, the instep, and the heel cuboid. The ball girth is measured at the widest part of the forefoot of the shoe and is the measurement around the foot. The instep is measured at the waist and similarly is the measurement around the foot. And the heel cuboid is the measurement of the volume of the heel. Now all of these things when looking at the last are in control of a designer and have an effect on how that shoe fits and feels. For example, talking about a women's shoe or a women's specific fit, typically those are a lot smaller in the heel cuboid and have also a much smaller instep volume. Now all of these, as mentioned, also have an effect of course on the size of a shoe and the grading of a shoe. And that's also why they're different across different manufacturers. Even though you may measure your foot with something like this, a Brannock device, the actual stick length and grading in terms of what that measurement is conversion to a size measurement could be different. Now looking at the shoe from a design perspective, there's also a couple key terms that are really important and also talked about a lot, especially in running shoes, but are often confused. So those are things such as stack height and heel drop. So let's take a look. Stack height, as you may know, is often referred to as that measurement of the amount of cushioning underfoot. It's what some of the concerns were about the vapor fly, about talking about you know, how much is legal for the road or how much is legal for the track. But the important thing to understand when we're talking about stack height is that this is actually the measurement underneath the foot. So this is not the same as what you may see from the sidewall, but this is rather the dimension if you were to chop the shoe in half and look at how much material, including the midsole, including the outsole, and including the insole, is beneath the last to the ground. So this is something like this, talking about this measurement, not this sidewall measurement, which is like this. The next measurement when we're talking about design is to do with the drop. Now, while the stack height actually has nothing to do with the last design itself, it's more the geometry of the shoe, the drop actually is built into last and the designer must consider this when designing the last in the first place. What the drop is, is actually that differential in stack height between the forefoot and the heel. So if we're looking at the last and we're looking at those two measurements, stack height in heel and stack height in forefoot, the difference is your drop. So that is this amount here. This would be your drop. Difference between this and this. Now again, these are all under the control of a designer and different shoes might have a different stack height and of course also a different drop. For example, in designing this Scora shoe, 
It was designed to be a more barefoot feeling shoe. So like being barefoot, it actually has a zero drop. That means the heel thickness and the forefoot thickness are the same. Other shoes may have something a little bit more of a drop, such as this very old Kinvara, which has maybe a few millimeters between forefoot and heel. And of course, other shoes like the Alpha Fly we talked about last time have a much larger drop, in this case, a four millimeter drop and have almost a 40 millimeter stack height. Again, looking at the inside section of the shoe, not talking about the sidewall. With all these things in mind, the designer has lots of different variables to play with. And as they usually say, the last is first.